so Cody tell us about your first memories of rugby league so basically started when I was little um, you know memories of Darren Lockyer and even Wally Lewis playing um, my dad was in the Brisbane Premier League as well so I sort of grew up supporting Broncos supporting Queensland and my dad unfortunately passed away in 2009 um, so which was sort of before I even started playing league you know you grow up with that sort of um, you know in the house and yeah just never would have thought that I'd ever get the opportunity to play. So when you walk out onto the field is is your father in your heart is that one of the things that you play for? You know like as I said dad not sort of watching me play ever or even sort of um, being around to see me play for Australia um, play for Queensland and, and now play for the Broncos it's you know, it, it does hurt a little bit, but like I know he'll be watching. What got you hooked on rugby league? You, you said your father's passion, but was there a point where you thought, well, I can play the game too? Um, and it wasn't until I was 24 that I started playing. Um, I sort of was in Brizzy for a year when I was younger and moved back. And a friend of mine um, asked me to come down to um, the Gladstone Raidettes training um, because the fees were cheaper and I couldn't afford to go play soccer. Um, so I sort of just came down to training and um, thought I was okay at it. And yeah, just the, probably the biggest thing is just how much of a family you create in every team. That's, that's just huge. You know, the amount of friends that I've met through football is just astonishing. Do you think there's a, there's a big opportunity there to inspire the next generation? You, you girls are really breaking ground every year at the moment. I mean, especially with the new NRL comp coming up for us as well, um, you know, playing for Broncos. When we were little, we never had that. Um, so to have, you know, even just family, friends, their kids or people that I've met at football coming to watch games, even some of my clients, um, their daughters, you know, just idolise me and it's just, it's just amazing being able to be such a good role model. And what's this camp been like? Have you enjoyed being around the girls? Yeah, I always love coming into camp. Um, you know, I don't really get to see a lot of them other than sort of, you know, just in your sort of week in, week out footy. And um, it's great, especially coming to, to places where we can sort of create memories and, and bond together as a team. And it feels like we've been in camp already for a couple of days and it's only been one day. It's just so much fun and so much laughter. How much are you looking forward to sliding on the Maroons jersey and running out onto North Sydney Oval? It's surreal. I'm actually really nervous for the first time, um, even though I've been playing for four years for Queensland. And it's, um, it, I mean, it's exciting. And now that we get to be on TV live and everyone gets to watch it, it's, yeah, it's pretty nerve wracking, to be honest. What's the rivalry between Queensland and New South Wales like in your mind? Is it, is it everything? <laughs> Yeah, it's even even worse than the, the Gillaroos and the New Zealand Ferns sort of rivalry. There's the Queensland and New South Wales rivalry is way more. Um, and it sort of came to light even more so at the Nationals, at the National Championships. Um, and I mean, it's good, we're all friends off the park, but yeah, we just didn't hold out. And that's what it'll be like on Friday as well.